Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Thunder 2002. And this is going to be another quick race episode. In the last episode, we went to Lowe's Motor Speedway with Kenny Wallace in his number 27 main ace car, which was requested by Monster Zeppelin. So, shout out to him once again. And today, we're going to be racing at New Hampshire with Ward Burton in his number 22 Wildlife Foundation Dodge. This is one of my favorite paint schemes of all time. You know, somewhere in the top 10. I don't know about the top 5, but... Yeah, I mean, just look at this thing with the, the day skies in the front, the mountains, the green, and the, the blue, and then the, the night skies in the back with the stars and everything. Yeah. Mother Nature. Ugh. Oh, this is probably like the worst track to be racing this car at because New Hampshire is the easiest track in this entire game. It's a little easier than Martinsville. That was a pain in the ass to go racing at because... Like, I, there was not that much to talk about. I started last place and just went past like, a bunch of cars. The AI like to dive bomb there, but here it's like the AI, they don't want to give you any room, but they hit the brakes so freaking early. So this episode was requested by MC Can't Rap. Um, it's sad to hear that he can't rap, but let's try winning this race to make him feel better. I don't know. Kevin Harvick is starting on the pole in this episode next to Dale Jarrett. Let me turn that mirror on real quickly. Green flag is out for 30 laps here at New Hampshire. And first things first, the AI just take off, but then they're all going to mash the brakes because it's a really tight first corner, and they do that at every track we race at in this game. Casey Atwood, got to give me room, man. This apron is making me loose. Oh, really rough start. I am not surprised. But um, speaking of Kevin Harvick, our, our pole sitter, he has a paint scheme from 2002 that is very similar to this one just because, you know, like how it's got the, the night sky on this one and everything. He has a 20th anniversary ET, the extraterrestrial paint scheme. It's like black on the front with all the stars and everything. And then the, the bottom of the car is like a, a lighter blue. It's an awesome car. And I think the reason why he got that paint scheme was because um, Kevin Hart was often sponsored by Reese's and Reese's was like a big product placement for ET, the extraterrestrial. But yeah, that's another awesome paint scheme that people might not really know. It's kind of an underrated one. I mean, it's not, you know, one of the most fantastic paint schemes of all time, but it's just a really cool car, kind of like this one. Uh, I, the reason why I've seen that paint scheme before is because uh, my mom and dad had a die cast of that one whenever they, whenever it first got raced and everything. And it was only using, I think, like a, a Bristol race of some sort. Probably the night one. Okay, Kyle Petty checks off the corner, and then Bobby Hamilton, or not Bobby Hamilton, Kevin LePage in the four car, he's checking up too. Everyone's checking up. This is a race that I'm betting on getting into the top 10 within the first 10 laps of the race. Uh, it's difficult to do that whenever I have to deal with just all the cars on this track. Every car on this track is slow. <laughs> they go off the corner slow, they, they don't get on the gas, and then whenever I can get on the gas, I'm holding down the X button, but the driver, he's not putting his foot all the way down the gas pedal. That's something I find very annoying about this game, and it really shows its true colors here. You can come off a turn, but if you're not going perfectly straight, the car doesn't go full throttle when you're holding down the X button. It's, it's dumb. It's so dumb. It's annoying. Like, listen. I'm all the way on the gas pedal. It's just... Uh, uh, uh. It's like trying to raise demons from the dead. The, the deaths of Tartarus. I, I don't freaking know. Like, it's, it's doing its own horrible satanic rituals. You know, we're t getting into 15th, 14th place on lap 5. Well, there's Kenny Wallace not having the worst of races. Make a pass on Bobby Hamilton. I can't believe we still haven't raced as Bobby Hamilton in this quick race series. I mean, there's a bunch of drivers we haven't raced as yet that, you know, I feel like we should have. Like, we should have raced with um, Bobby Labonte by now. Him especially because he, his car is on the disc of the game. Because he won the, I think Bobby Labonte won the, the 2000 championship or the 1999 championship. One or the other, I don't remember, but that's how he got on the game. Ugh. Got to make a dive in a turn three. I mean, this Kleenex car sees me trying to make a pass, but he, and he knows he's going to be much slower than me, but he's still trying to stop me. But, yeah, there you go. Into the top ten before the end of lap six. And next up is Kurt Busch in the Sharpie car. I'm not even trying to pass him. It doesn't look like it's possible to pass him by that distance, but in this game, you don't think it is, and then you just get there all of a sudden. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to, you know, stay talking find something to talk about with this game because I can't talk about you know racing these people and talk about the actual race on the screen because it's so easy that everything's just flying by too quickly 
or I'm flying by the traffic too quickly. The race is going to take forever in my perspective just because it's so darn easy. It's so easy that it hurts. It's painfully easy. I wish they could actually drive. I wish they had the same braking points of me going the corners. You fix that and then this would actually be quite the challenge. Or maybe I should just try passing everybody on the outside because it's easier to just dive bomb them. Arc it back down. And you see Mark Martin still just about got his nose underneath me whenever I make a pass on the outside. Yeah, maybe that'll make some of this. It's, I'm still going to win this race. If I don't win this race, I'd be very disappointed in myself. I think I'd be more disappointed in the game because there's no way that I, I can't win this race without it being the game's fault. Remember, I, uh, I lost, uh, I think, the first race that we did here whenever we were doing our season mode let's play with Bobby Hamilton. Because, I don't know, I guess I just wasn't used to the game at first. I was trying to pass Dylan Hart Jr. off of turn two, and then my car just wouldn't stop turning. Yeah, it does that on worn tires, especially at this track, where you're not turning anymore, you finish the corner, but the car just keeps on turning. And I think the game is trying to make it seem as if you're getting loose. Like, you don't have to be turning for your car to get loose and you start spinning. But it actually feels like your car is just still turning. It doesn't feel like it's getting loose. Like, you're not turning anymore, but it, that's what it's doing. Ugh, it's weird. Trying to get a pass on Joe Nemechek right here. Well, that's not Joe Nemechek. That is Jerry Nadeau. I'm getting my games confused. I am playing this game and Thunder 2004 at the same time. Meanwhile, um, I am in fourth place. And I think that's Terry Labonte racing Kevin Harvick. Oh, you go, girl. Or, man. I don't know. You know the phrase, you go, girl. I was trying to use it like with Terry Labonte. But he's not a girl. But if he was a girl, he'd be really hot. Ward Burton's hot. He's hotter than Jeff Burton, at least. He has a awesome accent. Jeff Burton doesn't. Ward Burton is hotter than Dylan Hart Jr. His, his accent is like... Dale, Dale Arnold Jr. is Ward Burton light with his accent. Okay, now we're starting to like turn into what if racing. Like, there's nothing to talk about, so I start just making shit up. But yeah, just the side by side battle for the lead at New Hampshire. Yeah, right. One thing I noticed about this track is that there are dotted white lines on it, like they have in NASCAR Thunder 2004 or these days. I don't know how often this track is repaved. They probably repave this track like every two years. <laughs> because. That would explain why the racing is so garbage and the track is so freaking grippy that there's no point in trying to pass somebody. It's just a uh, single line track. But I mean, if you look at this track, even on the back stretch, the corners and everything, there's there's no dotted white lines. I think there might have been a NASCAR Thunder 2003, which begs me to believe that after this game came out, they repaved. I don't know why this track doesn't look like it needs to be repaved at all. Unless they just didn't design the track right in this game. Okay, let's try making a clean three-wide pass for the lead right here. I'm not even trying to go to the outside. This car just has no more grip anymore. It's all over the darn place. Kevin Harvick trying to make a crossover down the back stretch. Let's just keep on trying to make our passes on the outside. Or, you know, going into the corners. Yeah, on Warren Tires, this car starts trying to do everything for me. It's just weird. Like, it, it doesn't want to just turn in the corners. It wants to slide up the track. And then I go into a turn and it wants to slide down to the bottom hard to tell whenever I should be doing something and whenever I shouldn't be because I don't I don't know anymore. But we're at the halfway point. Could not take the lead before the halfway point. I mean if I if I tried hard enough I could just dive past it, but I'm like, let's let's not take the easy way out. We can do this from the outside line. I can really close, but yeah, I gotta take it down pit road before it's too late. Well pit road speed in this game is hundred miles per hour. It is trying to kill me this non stop slide about to spin into pit road or crash into the, the pit wall barrier. I have no damage, so there's no damage to repair. I might have like tire marks on like the right side of the car or the left side of the car, depending on anybody that I made contact with. <sighs> How's your day going? This game is ruining my day. <laughs> the sad part is, after I'm done recording this video, I gotta play NASCAR Heat 3. Uh, do the Xfinity Series Let's Play with Elliot Sadler. We have to race at Charlotte. It comes out tomorrow. And from what I've practiced with Charlotte, I can start in the top 10, take the lead on the first lap, and then lead the entire race. But a caution comes out because they have the scripted yellows and nonsense in the game. A caution comes out with a few laps to go, and then I'm bound to just lose the race because the AI are better than me on tire wear. Racing at this track has been a very mundane experience. I don't know what that word means, but I'll just pretend like I, I knew whenever I said it. Um, very tedious. It... It's not difficult, it's just annoyingly time-consuming. 
it's like the least fun track to race at in this tire game because it's, it's the least challenging at that too. I mean, I think it's more challenging than others that are actually challenging in the sense that this one is so easy that it it's difficult to all just take in. But we're going to win again. We're back to our winning ways after Charlotte here at New Hampshire with Warburton. So hopefully MC can't rap. Feels better now. That begs me to wonder, is veteran difficulty or rookie difficulty more difficult than legend because of how much slower they'd be? Or would it be easier? I, I'm, I'm really not that much sure. But if you have not yet requested an episode for this quick race series, then go down to the comment section below, pick a driver and a track they haven't raced with or gone to yet. And if you're the very first one that hasn't requested an episode yet, then that'll be the next episode in a couple weeks. We haven't gone to tracks like Chicagoland, Atlanta, Phoenix, and a few others that I can't think of at the moment. But you can always just look at the playlist and you can figure out other ones like that. But, um, yeah, I don't think it could be any easier or annoying than that. I think the tracks we have remaining will be much more challenging and enjoyable experiences. So now I'm going to go play NASCAR Heat 3, a better game than this one. Don't you tell me that this game is better than NASCAR Heat 3 because New Hampshire is so much more fun online or offline in NASCAR Heat 3 than whatever the hell that was. See you next time. That's that and episode over.